What's up folks? Today on the channel, building a barn door style spare tire carrier for the back of my buddy's FJ80. A uh, couple little hurdles, he doesn't fit in the garage. Um, I'm in the process of building a shop. So hopefully in the next few months, we'll be making some of these videos out of my new shop. Anyways, uh, starting with the FJ80, we has a bunch of trail gear parts on it, uh, including this, obviously this trail gear rear bump tube style bumper which is creating its own issues here and there. Uh, some of the issues we're finding right now is anything mass produced, you're going to have some issues with uh, consistency from side to side uh, or measurements or it's, it's just, it's a mass produced piece. Um, it's made out of decent, you know, material. It's, it's all inch and three quarter, 120 wall um, tubing. However, there's, you know, some discrepancies, measurements from side to side. And it, it's, like I said, it's, it's creating its own, its own, uh, its own problems for me, but nonetheless, we uh, centered it off of the tailgate, found center on the uh, the bumper itself. We're gonna be adding a trailer hitch. Uh, like I said, uh, we got two of these of these uh, swing out tire carriers from Trail Gear. I guess uh, I didn't buy on these parts. These are all his his parts. I'm working on um, as of now. I've got it tacked to a piece of 3 16 plate that's tacked to this tubing. We're gonna add a lot of gusses to this back bar over here um, and finish TIG welding this out and then I'm gonna box it all in. We're gonna probably a little over engineer a lot of this um, because the way this, this tube mounts is it pretty much is coming off of one, one tube there. So this node, is, I'm gonna try to reinforce the heck out of this node and and box into this other tube over here just to give us some more material there to work with. Uh, the difficulties are going to be, especially with the barn door style, is getting both of these sides to meet up perfectly in the middle here while being perpendicular or parallel to each other, I should say, and swing out to the other side over there and have everything still look centered. I don't want one side higher than the other. And it, it's just, it's gonna create a lot of problems and it's gonna, it's gonna be some work. The main bottom bar for the uh, swing out tire carrier is going to be this two by three piece of uh, of 120 wall rectangle tubing. Uh, we put a 30 degree uh, 30 degree bend or cut into this guy, um, and we're going to do another 30 degree cut to bring to basically a, a step down and over uh, to get closer to the bumper. Uh, so to make that match and make the the material line up again for for rewelding it. You cut, we're gonna cut two 15 degree angles into it and we'll butt weld it together and take it all together. Probably end up putting a fish plate over it just to be safe. Um, but you figure this is gonna be supported on the back of the bumper on both ends, so it should be fine. <music> match up for the uh the spindle bearing so we get a nice weld on it so here's kind of where we're at um i've made the two lower barn doors uh got everything clamped in place and tacked in place uh we checked the swing everything looks to be centered this is nathan he's the owner of the vehicle <laughs> uh we're trying to figure out now how we're going to end up gusseting this uh you can see how the barn doors are gonna come together. We got latches, that uh, little spring latches that'll clip down in the original bumper. But you can see the whole, the whole thing there and how it's gonna look. We dropped it down low so we have more room for storage. He's got a spare tire, an ice chest, uh, I think a propane mount on the back of his little overland rig here that we're gonna be putting. Here's everything mocked up in place. That bar is just to keep everything straight. We're now working on gusseting to that tube. Some more gussets underneath here. I got that solid bar TIG welded to the bottom there.
had some uh, camera issues for a minute, whereas basically it died and I didn't charge it back up. So missed out on a lot of stuff. You can see where we're at now with the back of the, uh, the FJ80 here. You can see we got both the barn door swing outs done. We got latches in. We got some keepers. I'll do a walkthrough here in a second. Um, I had two, two mirror hoops on here, but after doing it, we had an issue with it hitting and crashing into the back of the tire. So I had to cut it short, which he didn't want it that big anyways. That was my big push to having a symmetrical look to it. That's kind of, I don't know, I have a hard time not having a symmetrical. Anyways, uh, he just wants a spare tire, a spare tire and a ice chest on the back and propane tank and a few little things. So he doesn't need all this, all the space up on top there. Uh, looks a little weird right now. We left this long, look at this the way, this long so that we can cut it off when we get the ice chest on there. That'll be next. Um, and we're gonna cap off the ends and I'm gonna make it look a little nicer. He's got some filler pieces he's gonna put down the bottom there uh, out, of, out of some uh, sheet metal. I'll walk you through it. All right, here's the start of the ice chest carrier. We just did a uh, half inch bar we bent up into horseshoe. Got it welded into that and we're gonna create a little sheet metal basket uh, with some dimple dies, get a little more strength and we're gonna tighten that bottom bar there. Um, we're gonna, we end up, I think, moving the uh, little tiny little propane tank over this corner here underneath the tire. We'll show you that later. Got all my gussets in. Just boxed in that little spindle there on both sides. Got a little fish plate for that joint. So it should be good and strong. Here's the back of the spare tire carrier. Uh, definitely gonna be plenty strong. Just ended up TIG welding some fine thread bolts on the back there to hold the tire. He didn't care if it was a proper thread or anything else. So it's just holding the tire on. Looks good. Fits nice. Need to put a little stop on there to keep it from over sliding into the, into the truck, but should be good. Still, the, the main issue we're having now is, is if there's a takeaway from this, is you need to really kind of find a, a good sturdy foundation of a bumper. This is not it. Uh, I think we're gonna have to come back and and add a whole lot of gusseting in here to make this thing stout enough to really carry this. But time will tell. Um, he's on a time crunch, so. We're about done with this today. He needs to take and do some more wiring and stuff. He's got a trip this weekend. When he gets back this weekend, we'll see how it goes. But um, like I said, I have a feeling we're gonna add a lot more gusseting in here. I end up taking and adding this trailer hitch to it. I gotta stick it out a little, little ways just so we get the hitch pin. Uh, I cut those bars, the lower bar to clearance it, countersunk it into the, the frame itself, welded it all up. Um, on the inside and out, and there's plenty of structure there. Added some gussets underneath, as you can see there. Let's mount for the little propane tank, spare tire, ice chest. And a few other odds and ends, but he's gonna take it and paint it. He's gonna get ready for a trip.